With today's technology, typing is the main way we write. While writing in cursive is something many of us rarely do besides maybe a signature here and there, Cronkite News reporter Amanda Kukula went to Lake Havasu City to show us how cursive may make its way back into Arizona schools. I think that everyone should be taught cursive. But it's not required. Cursive is not part of the Common Core curriculum that was implemented in Arizona schools in 2010. Senate Bill 1197 would change that, and students would have to learn cursive reading and writing. I like to write in cursive because there's a ton of loop-de-loops and twists in it. Third grade teacher Teresa Nig makes sure her students at Starline Elementary in Lake Havasu City still learn cursive. I think it's a great idea because uh, there's lots of research that cursive writing has um, linked to um, developing memory and fine motor skills. Although Ms. Nig says keyboarding skills are important as well, her students would be crushed if they never got the chance to learn it. Because typewriting is easier and cursive is more challenging and I like more challenging things. Get because I'm used to writing print over and over again and it's a change. Starline Elementary is just one of the schools in Arizona to still teach their students cursive reading and writing. But by putting this bill into place, it will soon require all schools across Arizona to teach their students cursive by the end of fifth grade. And it's also important to the Arizona Department of Education and the Superintendent of Public Instruction, Diane Douglas. She sees it as being more than just you know, being able to sign your name, being able to read historical documents, but uh, there are connections that can be made for students when they're writing in cursive um, that, that are uh, different from the connections you make when you're, when you're writing uh, just uh, standard um, uh, script. In a recent amendment, cursive would not be part of the statewide achievement testing if the bill is passed. In Lake Havasu City, Amanda Kukla, Cronkite News.